I'm about to wrap presents for my kids. And everything just makes me want to cry. It's been since March, since this COVID thing, and I've only seen my kids two or three times. And DCFS won't liberalize my visits. I do everything they say and it's going to be my third Christmas without them. You know, I'm sober two and a half years. My kids weren't even removed from me because I was an alcoholic. I never put my, I never had any calls or anything because of alcohol. I did get sober, so I am grateful for that, but my kids were removed because my 10 year old was watching my two and eight year old while they were sleeping and I know that there's no legal babysitting age in California um, I get I get how that's not the most responsible decision and I totally regret it I've been paying for it for the past two and a half years but this I've never hit my kids I've never verbally abused them it's like so overkill I'm not a danger to my kids why Am I being alienated from them? Isn't parental alienation child abuse? Is our CPS and DCFS not traumatizing our children worse than if they were with us? And most of the parents who get caught up in DCFS are not a real threat or danger to their kids. Most of them just need help or could benefit from therapy or could learn better tools and life skills, all of which I've been doing <laughs> the past two and a half years. So CPS definitely gets you to work on yourself, but it's traumatic. It's traumatizing to parents, it's traumatizing to kids. I cry every day. I wake up every day with this emptiness. I feel like a refugee, dazed and glazed, just walking around from some traumatic event that won't stop happening because my kids are legally kidnapped and in separate homes. It's the most painful thing and I just want to cry. There's no holiday. There's nothing when you don't have your kids. It's like my whole life is on hold and they're it's the worst on kids than anyone like wards of the state they're basically prisoners. They're not free to, to see who they choose. They're not free to call their mother, see their mother when they want. All of, all of us want to be together. Um, I know that you guys get me. There's so many parents on Facebook and stuff just going through this and even the ones struggling who may have had dirty tests, which, you know, again, it's like, let's not criminalize people who need help. Let's not traumatize families. We don't need to be taking children away from parents at the rate we're doing it. It's like, learn some compassion and empathy, people. And if you've never dealt with addiction, then you have no idea what it's like. And again, that's not even why I'm here. I've been sober two and a half years. Like, that was the first thing I did when they took my kids was get sober. <laughs> so it was, it was a gift. But how many of us have something that we want? that we want to get out of a relationship, or we want to get sober, or we want to have a job where we're happy, or we want to learn better coping skills and anger management, or so many of us are working on ourselves. So let's not shame and judge and blame and punish people. And stop taking away children. Stop calling the cops, stop calling CPS on people and start helping each other and stop wasting so many resources investigating and criminalizing and separating families. My third Christmas without my kids and I have never hurt them. It's horrible. So I know you guys know what I'm going through and I'm sending lots of love. Any parents who are not able to be with their children I'm sending your darlings and you so much love, so many hugs. It's horrible. It's horrible. You know, and our 
babies. I can't talk about my kids without even crying. My kids, you know, their suffering makes our suffering so much worse. And my darlings are paying dearly. We all are. And we have to stand up, we have to come together. I'm in Los Angeles, but I go to Orange County all the time too. We need to stand together, we need to start speaking. We need to start drawing attention. We need to get our kids back. We need to keep children with families, with their parents. And we need to start spending all of this energy and resources instead of investigating and criminalizing and evaluating and judging. Get fucking lawyers and courts out of our lives and bring in care, bring in compassion. Bring in psychologists and healers and therapists and those who are skilled, who are there to help. Help. Care. It's time. It's time we dissolve these systems, these non-enhancing systems, and we replace them with community. We, we replace them with life enrichment and with empathy and compassion and with healing. I don't want to spend any more holidays away from my kids. I don't want to miss any more birthdays. I know you guys are with me. Whoever's in California or wherever, we need to start coming together and speaking up. No one should have to go through this, this nightmare. God bless you guys. I'm sending so much love to all of you, to your children. I'm sending so much love. Our darlings in Foster or wherever their placement is, and all you parents, I'm hugging you guys. And no one's perfect. I love you.